guys, it's Punk Snuggly Bear. We are here playing another Sega Genesis game. Uh, it is Gunstar Heroes. Um, we, this is my first time playing it. I should have not just hit uh, the button there to be a free shot. So I guess we'll go with that. Uh, force fires rapidly to a point. Lightning fires through enemies. So I'm guessing this is your weapon. Chaser follows enemies. Fire is very effective in close range. Let's go with Chaser. Looks like we got an old air, air, air pilot, pilot, air plane pilot. Wow, man, really just had a stroke there. Couldn't figure out the words to airplane pilot. Okay, so it looks like a simple 2D sort of shooter. Um, I could see how this can get into like really like bullet hell style. Okay, and I picked up a power up. Oh, so it looks like you can hold any two weapons at any time, um, and they affect how your gun fires. So like right now, I'm just shredding through this guy because I have two beams of follow shot. I'm gonna pick up the health, and then my vitality's in the upper right. Uh, this boss is a giant leaf of asparagus that I'm just gonna shoot until it dies. It's giving off little pink balloons and giant caterpillars. And that was, seems like super easy, almost like cheesed. Um, I'm gonna stick with this dual, uh, dual chaser. It seems to be doing really well. And I think this may be like the easy cheese to win these games. Maybe I've already broken the code. Uh, I do like the style of this so far, um, and love, like, you can jump up onto multiple platforms, uh, and, like, your health isn't just, like, a simple health bar. I'm gonna jump up here. I hate how that forced me to go forward when I really wanted the health. So that is one of, so far, one complaint in overall of this game. Everything else is pretty pretty good. I like how the shots can go through some things but not others, like climbing up here, uh, my bullets can file out backwards, but I also just want that health, uh, but like through sandbags and everything it doesn't go through. So far it just feels like I'm cheesing this game by just running up here and holding down the shoot button, but maybe that's how this game want you to think it is for the first few levels, and then it's just going to get super hard. So far, uh, oh, also your, I have a dive that seems to do damage, uh, when I go through him. So that's a cool little feature. Uh, the boss regenerated its health, so I don't know what happened there. Uh, I had it down to zero, and it just went full regen on me. So that's an interesting concept. I wonder if that is a, a style of this boss just specifically, or if it is... Uh, I got, like, unlucky RNG right there. So far, I love that, like, each level has a set of mini-bosses. So we've faced off a giant uh, asparagus, we've now faced off against a giant robot. I need to focus on my health because I'm not uh, 42 HP. Just have to make sure I'm jumping over the lasers when they fire them, uh, or not just getting hit by them. Can I duck? I can't duck under while sliding, so that's interesting. Okay, I don't want that. Shooting beehives and shooting bees. If I just keep running, it looks like I'll be good. Okay, cool. I need both sets of these health. Because I was uh, cruising for a bruise in there. Alright. Warning, warning, warning. Boss is approaching. Pinky rotor. Caution. Hitman shot. Iron knuckle. I like how it tells you like what the what they're going to be doing is coming at you so it's like oh okay be prepared because this boss does this or and I like how each of the shots only do like three damage worth of health instead of like 
monstrous numbers. We found that if you just stand on them, you can pretty much cheese them. Oh, his jump attack did 20 damage. Holy crap. He's slowly coming towards me too, so... What is that thing? I just want to get over him, please. And then back to this guy shooting lasers. I want to be able to just stay alive. I can take two more hits before I'm dead, and I may be able to do it as I jump off the wall and eat straight laser. I'm going to hit yes to continue and see how far back that puts me. So, oh, it puts me back to the second boss. It's a little bit crazy. I did not know, though, that I could jump off the sides, which is a cool concept. So, we'll just, we're back to having this single scatter. Oh, that was weird. He did a backwards dive on me when I'm trying to jump through him. I do like how, though, yeah, if you do jump through him, you do do damage, uh, like multiple hits of damage. So that's a cool little thing that this game has incorporated. I don't think I've ever seen a shooter where your jump through does damage to a boss. And also realize that if you go off screen, that is why I was taking so much damage. I take 20 points of damage for going off screen or getting hit by uh, the boss, so I figured out that I should just be jumping over the lasers and focusing on that more to keep all my vitality points up. So far, I think I'm learning how the, the game wants me to play. At first it seemed very easy, very just like, oh, cheese mechanics, just keep firing, but there's definitely possibility for you to get a uh, destroyed. Okay, I always want the health. Health is never a bad thing. Alright, and now we're back to the final boss again. And I think with this laser power-up, this actually may be... Oh yeah, this laser power-up is going to be so much better. Nope, I want the face. I like also if you hit the arm, it does the same amount of damage. Okay, nope. This is where I'm going to die, is by... Please let me jump through you. I want to just jump over you. This. Okay, so it just looks like combinations of weapons are the better to make this game easier or not. So stage one is clear. Or the first stage, which I chose. I'm going to collect this little blue diamond. And Team Rocket is blacking, blasting off again. And that is where we will leave it for now. We have finished the first stage, and we will come back to finish the next three stages. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, have a good one. I ain't